Come on up, sir. And your last name? Porter. And why are you here, Mr. Porter? Or Mr. Holt, why did you bring Mr. Porter here? I wanted him to uh, tell him, I, I wanted him to explain what happened with Mr. Walton here. When I explained to her that she cannot cause all this chaos at my gym. Was this the day that she complained about there being a transgender in the room? Yes, it was. And I, you I, had a copy. Were you on duty when this happened? I was on duty at the front desk, sir. All right. Were you there, Mr. Hall, at the time? Yes, I was. All right. Why did it take two of you to have this conversation? I take it you somehow must have been involved in it before, Mr. Hall. You, she had the conversation with you first? She did. What did she say? She comes up to me very loudly, not just, you know, personal conversation. She comes up and says, hey, there's a man in the woman's locker room, and he's looking at me, he's looking at other women. I don't like this. Now, I talk. This man that's in the woman's locker room is eyeing okay. other women in the room, and I feel uncomfortable because it's a man. Right. She was exaggerating. Never said that. What? Exactly. Never said what was being exaggerated? The fact that she, that, that. But right. none of them ever complained. Their experience was they didn't feel like anyone was watching them. Nobody complained. All right. If her experience was different, you can't discount that. All right. She was upset, hot and bothered, and she was letting you know that. Right. And then what did you do in response? I chuckled a little bit. I did. What's funny about her voicing a legitimate concern? Because she complains every day, Your Honor. She All comes the time. in. She's saying, like, hey, I don't like the TV shows playing right now. The temperature of <laughs> what, the water. What, America's Court's not playing when you're all in the gym? <laughs> <laughs> not exactly. Uh, I have those. Well, we need to I change that. Things. All right. <laughs> but in any event, she has been someone who has been complaining about other issues. Every day. This was just something else to complain about. Exactly. exactly. And you weighed this complaint with all the others. Exactly. Is that fair that you were conveying some of those concerns. I was conveying issues. Right. Yeah. I get it. Yes, yes. How do you balance out those complaints with there's a transgender in the room? Because that's apples and broccoli. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> Judge Ross's verdict when America's court returned.